I'm in Dynamics 365 for operations here. Let's have a look at deductions from customer payment. So first I'm going to go into sales order pricing. I'm going to go and find a customer. So let's have a look at all customers. And my customer is 739. And if I have a look at, for example, the transactions, um, I've got a transaction on this customer for $600, for example. So let's go and process a payment. So I'm going to do it in another tab here. So let's come down to customer payments, for example, workspace, and then I can record a customer payment. So I'm going to create a customer payment journal and then I'll enter the customer payments. So I can enter my customer number and this is my invoice. So I'm going to pick that and I'm going to pick my payment reference as a check for example. And let's say for example the customer has sent in a payment for 550. That leaves us $50 unreconciled for example. So essentially they're paying the invoice short. Um, and so what do we do with that short payment for example. So I don't have a credit that I can settle against. So I'm going to save this to the journal and let's close out the entry screen. So let's go into our lines and if we have a look at the lines we have a button here which is deductions. So if I go into our deductions um, what I can see here is that I've got a balance of 50. So I can go and create a new deduction to record that against and I can specify a type. Now in this environment in my data I've just got one type set up. Essentially the type specifying the account that we're going to post the promotion in this example too. Now it could be that we have a uh, allowance that a account manager gives to a customer to say give them a discount for an invoice for example but we haven't registered a credit note yet so therefore we're processing it against uh, the deduction so in this example we could specify trade allowances and other orders that this are against but in this case I'm only just specifying the um, type and the amount and so we can save that and you'll see that our balance is now zero. So I can close this out and we'll have an extra line in our payment journal. And once I post this, and I'll switch back to my other tab, um, I'll go back and let's refresh our payments our customer transactions I mean so what we'll see is the original invoice here then we'll see the payment for the 550 that we received and then we'll have a, a an extra payment registered here for the 50 which is the deduction that we've taken now what happens to this 50 well at the moment it's posted to um, some sort of a accrual account for example or it could be direct to some sort of expense account but these will be uh, visible in what's called the deductions workbench so if I come over to sales and marketing for example and we have a look we have deductions and then we have the deductions workbench so in here what we'll see for example is the deduction for um, our customer 739 and we have a deduction for $50 so what do we do with it from here so we can do things like um, uh, reverse it, uh, deny it, we can write it off for example so in a follow-up video let's have a look at what we do with this um, particular uh, deduction and how we 